And welcome back. With me now is my favorite foraging friend, Rachel <laughs> West of Eating the Ozarks. How are you, Rachel? Amazing. So you brought Denver, right? Yep. Denver, how old are you? Nine. Nine. Do you do a lot of the foraging with your mom? Mostly. Mostly. <laughs> I, I've been around when you've been foraging, and it's impressive how much you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, so we're here to talk to you about uh, it's tree tapping season. So how long does that season go? Um, so. Does that when I say it's it? season, it's just now barely. We're tipping in the, the very, very, like, come February is our coldest month. But as we get those nice thaws where uh -huh. we get those 40 degree, 50 degree days, the south sides of the trees will begin to start to thaw. South so side. You You're very did. specific because you know all these little details. Right. Mm -hmm. So the south side is the side that will be warming first. So if you want to put your tree taps. Um, so Denver is the one who well, set these. Is that um, your tree tap, Denver? Yes, that is. Uh -huh. And then how, uh, you want to tell them how deep we, we want to drill? Two inches. Mm -hmm. okay. And we want to drill at an upward angle. Okay. So we just use a 5 16th drill bit. Okay. And we just drill in the tree about two inches. The easiest way for Denver, what I do is I just mark on the drill bit. I measure and I just put a black Sharpie line. Okay. And then that way when you're going in your different trees, you can see it. And if I know anything about you, I know that you're not hurting plants. So I know that this couldn't possibly hurt a tree. Correct. The way you do it. Correct. Okay. Anytime you um, you drill in, you do open it up to where an insect or something could come in. Mm -hmm. But as you leave your taps, as we pull them out, we wait until the end of the sap season, and then we will seal them, um, like, naturally. But mm -hmm. um, as you're bringing in your syrup, you're going to notice that it's just, like, this light, clear tea Does it color. flow out, or do you, is it a slow process? It drips out. Very and so I think that there might have been a little short video that uh, we might show here. I okay. don't know. Uh, but that where it was kind of just like dripping out. If you have ever uh, turned on a tap whenever mm -hmm. it's going to be freezing outside right. okay. and you just want it where it's that slow drip, so that it won't freeze. that's kind of what it looks okay. like as it's coming out of the tree. Perfect. But let me um, let me let you taste some really quick. Since okay. These are two different colors, though. They what, are. What's the difference? They come out of different trees? They actually, this is the same tree. This is, uh, Denver is a connoisseur of all things. And so when he had this one, he told me that it was too thin for his taste, even though this is 66% syrup. And so as I pour that out, you can kind of see it's more water-like. Mm -hmm. The now pancake syrup that you're going to get at a supermarket will be thicker. So this is like at 85%. And the so difference you can, is what is how long I boil, you it. boil it. And so this so is about a four hour, out. and this is about a six hour. Okay. Um, Cami is gluten free. If you want your fork. Oh, thank you. So I've given. I, I brought fork. raspberries instead of pancakes for. Mm, it's very sweet. It is. And the be, the best part is this is zero sugar. I mean, yes, it's got a lot of sugar, but I did not have to no add a single sugar. bit of sure. of uh, table sugar mm -hmm. of even even having to purchase well, honey or anything. This is just a lot of the syrups you buy are just the high fructose corn syrup too. Mm -hmm. They're not real, you know. And at the supermarket, when you go to buy syrup, Ooh. and this little dude loves it, so that's extra thick. That is so sweet, isn't it? That is that's what he told me. He he was like, I, he likes the little bit thin. I reduced it down too I mean, far for the first time. I could so. taste that, but that is like, woo, and it's so good. So much better than So the cool thing is, is you can do natural wines. You can do pickle starts. You can do anything that you need a, sh a sugar. You can use your maple syrup. So if you're making yeah. cookies and it calls for a cup of sugar, you uh, can use your natural maple syrup. That so. it would add so much like depth, I would think, and warmth to your oh, yeah. flavors. Especially with sugar cookies. <laughs> oh yeah, I bet. <laughs> All right. So, so do, if where you, do you buy this? Um, you can uh, you can look online. I hate to have to say it. I tried. I called like 13 of our farm supply stores okay. trying to figure out. So online. Um, yeah, okay. Amazon, uh, three taps are about 25 bucks, and it'll get you 10 taps. Uh, we use, uh, because we do campouts and events, I end up with a lot of those white, uh, those big uh, water vessels. But you can use, you can go to Lowe's and just get a bucket okay. um, or any kind of pan. Again, the water, if you already use water and being able to run those in, it keeps stuff out, and now, they're really lightweight. Are there different types of trees you can get this out of? Yes, so this is um, a white maple, not a sugar maple. So we don't actually have uh, sugar maples on our property, but you can also tap a uh, hickory. You can tap a sycamore. You can tap a black walnut. And here's the video any, that you had. Oh, else? look at that. Is that you, Denver? That's Denver. Oh. <laughs> this is just this last week. He, uh, I told him, I said, did you check your tap? And this is just <laughs> one day of him running over and uh, he got to go check that tap. So you'll see the amount of syrup in just about a day. 
If we let that go about four days, it'd be about half full. No and way, yeah. from one tree. So that's just that one tree. That is absolutely incredible. And that was, the best part is you saw that amount of syrup, okay. that's literally only about one jar. So okay. when we get to that one line, we know that if we reduce that all the way down, we'll get to a small yeah. little pint of syrup. And I'm assuming it's good for you too, because it, that's what you do. I don't know Nature if it's good for you, but it feels better. smart, it feeds our soul. And just it's being a lot cheaper outside. too. <laughs> well, in the middle of the winter right now, as you guys know, I only have uh, roots or things that were invasive to be able to bring you. Yeah. And to be this able to tap into our local trees. Yeah. Tell us where we can find you online so we can keep up with all the events that you have. Eatingtheozarks.com. So easy, and she's got some amazing things coming up. Thank you for being Thanks, on Denver. Denver. You're, You're fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, coming up, we'll check back in with Tom at Hy-Vee. Stay with us. Bye. 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 Bye.